Pod Network Entertainment. Hey everyone, this is Gail De Chavez, and I'm the host of Free Yourself Podcast. If you are new here, welcome to the show. And if you are an avid listener, welcome back. It's Friday. <laughs> Alam niyo, sobrang natutuwa ako that you're here. I always tell you na sobrang nakaka-proud ka na nakikinig ka. Kasi by just making a decision to be better, to search Free Yourself Podcast, to press that on your Spotify, YouTube, or wherever you get your podcast, it's a choice that you made na mag-grow ka ngayon. And for this episode... This is special to me because this is something that I felt the past few months. And this is something that I want you to do to yourself because I know that this will help you to become the best version of yourself. And this is a reminder to you that when you don't know yourself anymore, when you feel stuck, when you are at your breaking point in your life, you're, you're at your rock bottom, you feel so lost, ito ang magsisilbing reminder sa'yo na hindi ka nag-iisa. So, I'm going to share here tips that you can actually do. And reminder, if you feel lost, stuck, and trained in your life right now. I'm not sure where you are in your life right now. Probably you're a student. You got your heart broken. You had your first breakup or you're in a toxic relationship and you don't know how to get out of that or ikaw yung kakagraduate lang and then you don't know where to go what path you should take you feel pressured by your society sa parents mo or you're in your life right now where you really don't know what to do. You're just living your life autopilot kung ano lang yung ibibigay sa'yo ng bukas. Here are things, the little things that can help you. Because it will always start with little things. But right now, I want you to take a deep breath. Inhale. Exhale. See, kahit ikaw, di mo na natandaan or hindi mo na napasalamatan na you're still breathing. And you're in the state of yours where you're in your survival mode. Sige, baton mo sa akin yung buhay kung anong ibigay sa akin. Since when did you had your good sleep? Yung matutulog ka sa gabi na alam mong paggising mo sa umaga, you're going to have a peaceful morning, slow mornings. When was the last time also that you felt so happy, you felt so alive, that you laughed your heart your smile is so genuine. Kailan yun? Di mo na matandaan, no? I felt that. Last January, I feel so lost. I don't have the drive to do the things that I usually do. Na wala na ako ng drive. I just want to sleep. <laughs> so makaisa sa sasakyan na walang direction. Gusto ko lang 
kung saan ako bitbitin ng buhay, sige. But, there's still a desire in my heart. The dreams that I want to achieve. Pero alam ko sa sarili ko, na pagod na ako. Pagod. Na pagod. Na pagod. Na pagod ako nun. I keep delaying my goals. Sabi ko, magji-gym na ako. Second week of January, sabi ko, magji-gym na ako and then I keep on delaying, ah, I don't have my shoes, ganon ganon. I keep on thinking of excuses. And it didn't brought me anywhere. I feel so stuck lang. Mas lalo ako nagsiself-sabotage sa sarili ko. I hated myself more because I didn't do the things that I told myself na gagawin ko. And then, sabi ko, come on, Gail. Walang ibang magpipick up sa'yo kundi ikaw lang. Kaya anong gagawin mo ngayon sa sarili mo? Magmumok mo ka lang dito. Kahit anong watch mo ng motivational videos dyan, if you're not going to do something about yourself, wala talagang mangyayari. I told myself to that. I needed to be harsh to myself so that, alam mo yung magising ako? Even if I hated to take a bath, because I hate, I just don't like to go out. Alam mo yung lost na lost ako. I just want to get rid of all the people in my life. Ayoko na silang makita. I need to fix myself. There's something that I need to fix myself. Kasi napagod ako eh. Pero sabi ko, sige Gail, kaya mo to. I'm going to be a parent to myself. And then, February came, sabi ko. Pagpatak ng February, I'm going to take care of my health. I'm going to the gym no matter what will happen. So I enrolled myself again to my favorite gym. And then I started to work out again. Back to zero. So work out. Hinihingal ako. Nahihilo ako. Pero sabi ko, sige lang. Kasi mas ayaw ko yung nakikita ko sa sarili ko na tumataba ako buong araw-araw. And I just hate myself. Pero sabi ko, you know what, Gail? Just to 1% better every single day. And then, sabi ko, I'll just focus on this workout. And I keep on working out every single day. And then, nakuha ko yung goal ko. I lost weight. I gained new friends. I was feeling better. One thing that I realized when you feel lost, you love your comfort zone so much. You love spending time with your friends because you f- tend to forget all the f- shitty feeling with yourself. Kasi natatakpan siya ng validation. Well, it's true. Friends can help. But at the end of the day, when you're alone, lalamunin ka na naman ng lungkot. It's crazy, right? It's very important that you know to yourself that you are lost. I mentioned in my previous episode, I think mga nasa 50s episode that you're not lost. You're exactly where you are meant to be. Lost, feeling lost is a feeling. And from what I've said, 
that when you are lost, you love your comfort zone so much. Kaya ngayon, tignan mo yung paligid mo. Take a look at it. It may be in your room, with your bed, with your phone, scrolling all day long. And you feel like walang nangyayari sa buhay mo. And you know why? You're not making a choice. Hi, I'm Red Oliero. Hi, I'm Andrew Bernardo. And we are the Bago, Bago Matulog, Matulog with, with Red, Red Oliero, Oliero podcast. podcast members. Yes, we are promoting our podcast and sana makinig kayo sa podcast namin. Yun lang. Please. Thank you. Yay. Please, we need money. I don't want you to end this year that you are going to feel full of regrets. I mentioned this from my previous episode. Kaya if you want to check that out, go to my previous episode. Remember that there is a difference between being responsible and playing it so safe that you never take a chance or a leap or a risk. I don't want you to live full of shame just because you weren't able to try and you live your life in your comfort zone and wala kang ginawa. You never try. Kil gusto ko kasi ganito na lang. Ilang buwan nang nakalipas. Ilang araw nang nakalipas sa Sabi mo, bukas na, bukas na, Gail, bukas na, promise, bukas na. Ilang buwan na, oh. Growing is a choice. Growing is a choice. If you're not growing, you're dying. Right now, I'm telling you this. My reminder to you is that drop all your failures. Maybe you feel so paralyzed. It's because you need to know why. Wag na lang kasi nagfeel na ako dati. Wala na akong ginawang tama. Tamang desisyon. Puro na lang disappointment. So what? That failure is that Learn from it. If there's one person that you should give unlimited chances, that is yourself. If, ano, Gail? Parati na lang ako na pag, pagsabihan ng parents ko, ng family ko, ng ibang tao. Who cares? You know to yourself what you can do and what you can grow as an individual. Let failure be your teacher. Making mistakes is part of life. Instead of belittling yourself because of your past decisions, past mistakes, I tell you, Successful people or the people that I know who achieved their dream life or the best version of themselves is the one who had multiple failures but didn't give up. I had multiple failures.